The countdown clock, I guess we can start for this Singapore right. summit, fingers crossed. Is the U.S. offering any hints here on what they might give in return? Well, the president's being counseled by his advisors not to give any concessions uh, going into the meeting uh, and, and during the meeting to stick with the idea that the U.S. wants a firm timetable from the North Koreans to start dismantling their nuclear program. Uh, the, the North Koreans have kind of bristled at this in the past, uh, wanting to have a step-by-step -step, uh, will uh, say dismantle this and you lift these sanctions. Uh, Trump uh, is known for his improvisational style in these sort of negotiations. So uh, it it's, will be interesting to see what actually transpires in the room. Uh, the uh, U.S. is also trying to make it uh, uh, make a, a hard pitch that uh, Trump is willing to walk <coughs> away if uh, if uh, Kim Jong Un isn't uh, isn't cooperative uh, and things don't go his way. But he's also dangling out the possibility of uh, inviting Kim to the U.S., uh, which would be a, 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 a unprecedented step, and it would certainly be uh, conferring a degree of legitimacy on Kim that uh, the North Korean government has long sought. Yeah, it seems like the president at least softening the stance leading up to this Singapore summit. But, you know, right. we heard from Rudy, Gi Rudy Giuliani making some pretty controversial remarks, Joe, saying Kim Jong-un was on his hands and knees begging for the summit to take place. How are those remarks likely to play in? Well, the North Koreans have usually been pretty sensitive to any sort of slights or indications that uh, that they're being dismissed, and uh, it's certainly not part of uh, much of a charm offensive on the U.S. part to have uh, Giuliani out there saying those things.